So at Cedar Sinai, uh, we have a biomanufacturing facility we develop for growing stem cells um, from patients to go back into patients. Now, one of the problems we have is keeping the stem cells like a stem cell. Uh, after a while, we, we came up with a, a concept that hadn't really been thought about before, which is manufacturing or making cells in space, in zero G. And there's some preliminary evidence from previous space flights that have put cells up there that show the cells, first of all, seem to proliferate better. They grow faster in zero G and they, they don't have as many mutations that they pick up on Earth. It's funny that there's something about zero G that allows the cells to divide more efficiently. You've got to look to the future. You, you, you're never going to expand or do anything different if you just think about where we are today. And unless we, as a, as a species in, in a thousand years, we're not going to survive unless we explore outside of Earth and start to understand how to live in zero G. That's why we're doing it. We're, we're futurists and we're looking to create, you know, the basis for experiments that will get us on long space flights, maybe making cells much better in space and, and then, then coming back to Earth to help uh, patients down here with serious diseases that we can't treat right now.